Hello everyone, so I am here. Welcome to my channel. I'm happy that you're here and I hope you enjoy the topics that we cover. We're going to jump right into it and today we're talking about the Holy Spirit. So if you haven't seen my other video I'm talking about the Holy Spirit, you can check it out and, and um, it will help you understand. It's kind of like a continuation or uh, an example that I'm adding to that previous video. So how can we ensure that we are truly being led by the Holy Spirit? Uh, sometimes you, you people, people can say things like, I'm being led by the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit that told me or something told me. And sometimes we're not sure, is it the Holy Spirit? What are you being led by? People literally will use this sentence often and they will say I'm being led by the Spirit. So how can we be led by the Holy Spirit in spirit and in truth? Like actually being led by the Holy Spirit. It starts with a relationship with the Holy Spirit. You have to cultivate a deep relationship with the Holy Spirit. You have to know who the Holy Spirit is. Understand the person of the Holy Spirit. Cultivate a deep personal relationship with God and with the Holy Spirit and with Jesus so you can understand the difference and the dynamics and how it works. You have to constantly acknowledge the Holy Spirit to have a relationship with Him, a deep relationship with Him. How does that work? It's going to be through prayer, through fasting, through reading the word, through understanding God. Like there's no other way to understand God better than to go through his word. There's a lot of chapters, a lot of books in the Bible that actually talk about the Holy Spirit, talk about Jesus, how the Holy Spirit functions. So spending time in that word is the only way that you will be led by the Holy Spirit. If you're not spending enough time in the Word, not spending enough time understanding who the Holy Spirit is, not being transformed by your heart, by your understanding, then chances are whatever you're being led by is not the Holy Spirit. It might be a spirit. It might be a spirit, but it's not the Holy Spirit that is leading you. Now, the question is, are you spending enough time in the Bible. Do you understand? Do you know exactly who the Holy Spirit is? Have you experienced his works several times? Do you know his track records? Do you know how he functions? Because the Holy Spirit is one. He's not many different things. He's not your conscience. He's not your heart. He's not your own decisions. And he definitely isn't some spirit that you're being led by. So I just wanted to make sure that we understand this, that when we're, we're mentioning, we use that a lot, but it's something that we use too lightly. And we say we're being led by the Holy Spirit, but it might not be the Holy Spirit that is leading us. Now, there's a verse that says, the mind governed by the flesh is death. But the mind governed by the spirit is life and peace. So how do you know if somebody is governed by the flesh? The way the person does things. You can see the person has lust, uh, wickedness, uh, unable to be generous, uh, a lot of pride. Those things that are not the fruit of the Spirit can tell you if somebody has the Holy Spirit. If you don't have those fruits, then you might not have the Holy Spirit. If you're missing a few of them, you might not have a deep relationship with the Holy Spirit. So it's important to know the difference and to make sure you don't use that sentence too often if you don't know what you're talking about, especially if you don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to share a last verse with you. It's in Galatians 5, 16. And it says, So I say, walk by the Spirit, and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. 
again observe yourself self do a self check and see am i walking by the flesh or by the spirit it's easy it's not complicated you will know believe me you will know because when you walk by the spirit a lot of things that you do are things that you wouldn't do by yourself if you if you decided that you 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 would have a choice because when you submit it to the holy spirit things don't make sense and you're surrendered to the will of god and god does his his will through you and his kingdom will come you will have zero of your will happening because you will be submitted to the will of god which is voluntarily you chose to submit to the will of god and yes then you're walking by the spirit and you're not walking by the flesh that's all i wanted to share i hope somebody was blessed today if you have questions please leave them below have you encountered the holy spirit how do you know how can you tell that you're walking by the spirit and not by the flesh what are your indications do you know how the holy spirit functions i want to know share your knowledge share your information about how you communicate with the holy spirit all of that and i'll be happy to reply back i'll see you next time and until then take care